hello everybody welcome back to my youtube channel my name is ella for some of you that didn't know but then how would you be here welcome back either ways okay and if you're new welcome to the family okay today i'm going to be reviewing a book i read the name is boy meets girl by joshua harris i'm sure you've seen that already in the title but just you know putting it out there okay this is going to be a part one of um the video because the book is a lot and i didn't just want to rush everything to one video i make it so long we'll give you the others later when i'm done reading the book okay point number one or lesson number one same thing okay so point number one enjoy every stage of your life i know this sounds so cliche but the truth is a lot of times we are so um busy worried about the future or we are so anxious about the future that we don't enjoy where we are now the truth is for example if you are single you won't be single forever and i know right now it doesn't seem that way but it's the truth and if you spend so much time worrying about the guy you're going to meet or the beautiful children you're going to have when you are married and when you do have kids you end up missing this phase of your life you end up being like oh, i wish i could go back to that time or how did i spend my single years you spent your single years worried about not being single that was what happened to your single years okay so let's not do that let's try to enjoy every stage of our lives or if in a relationship and all you do is dream about being married with kids when you are there you might end up just longing or wishing that you know you, you would have enjoyed your you know just your relationship better with just you and him you know or you know and but now it's not too late because I'm sharing this info with you okay the truth is you can't get it back you can't enjoy or you can't get back um being alone and just being able to do what you want to do or just not have a lot of responsibilities you know there is a reason for every phase in life okay there is a phase to be on your own there's a phase to be married it's a phase to have kids it's a phase to be in school it's a phase to be working and having it all together okay so just enjoy every phase okay all right that was point number one all right so point number two or oh, this four two know your deal breakers okay the truth is it's not everything you love about yourself talk more of another person you cannot always or you will not always be on the same page with someone okay that's why it's good to know your deal breakers these are things that no matter what these qualities whoever you want to be with must have okay these are things you can't compromise about let's say you are a christian and you want to be with a christian guy or you're a christian guy you want to be with a christian lady you know this is something that's a very big deal for you already knowing this in mind or having this as a deal breaker helps you to sieve out a lot of people from your lives okay then if you know that okay you must um you must have something doing for yourself you're not just taking life as it goes you want someone that is into something that is doing something that is grinding out there okay this is a deal breaker for you that means you can't be with someone that is lazy or it can be with someone that eh i will just take anything life throws at me okay you know this is something that's very important for you if you know you're into if you know you're into like um there are some certain physique you, or certain physical things you look for in a guy for example you know you're really really into dark people you just love chocolate girls you just love chocolate guys or you just love fur guys and then you have a crush on a fair person i'm not trying to say it can't change but marry or be with someone that you know that later in life you won't start going around looking for someone let's say you're into a dark person or you love chocolate guys and then you fall in love or you start having a crush on a fair person you know that this is not really really what you want but you're like mm, i'll go with it i'll just compromise don't compromise for something that you know that later in life you will start looking outside your home for you start cheating you start having second thoughts okay so it's always good to know your deal breakers and stick with it because the truth is in the honeymoon phase or the lovey-dovey phase all that, these things might not matter to you because at that moment all you can think about is oh i'm in love but when that phase goes or when that phase passes by 
and then you begin to really consider this it might be too late because you're involved with this person and you end up or you might end up hurting someone or you know end up just messing everything up so i'm not trying to say that even after having a deal breaker you can't compromise but compromise for something that you know that you will not turn your back on later so that's why it's really good to stick to it let it be something flexible but something that you know that it's really important it's something you know that you don't want to change something you know that it might be a problem for you okay if you know you don't want to have kids don't even bother being in a relationship with someone that wants to have kids why because later in life this might be a very huge issue okay at that moment you or the person might be like oh, we'll sort it out along the way no sort it out that moment so that you won't get so involved and then everything just in the end it's like you wasted your time or you wasted the person's time okay so know your deal breakers and stick to it it's very very important okay so that was point number two and point number three this is also very important be on the same page with who you're in a relationship with okay this again sounds very cliche of course you have to be on the same page with the person if not why won't you be this person no it doesn't it's not always like that for an instance you are looking for a serious relationship you are looking for a relationship that could lead to marriage that doesn't mean that the marriage the relationship has to, will lead to marriage because you're not sure of the future but you are looking for a relationship that if everything works out well you want to you want to you want it to go somewhere and the person you're in your relationship with is more like I'm more of a now person. I'm more of let's. Be, I just want to be in a relationship now. I don't really care where the future is because I'm not really looking towards there. If it happens, it happens. But if it doesn't, I'm fine with it. You shouldn't be in a relationship with this person because you're not on the same page. The truth is, if you're not on the same page with the person you're with, sooner or later, someone is going to get hurt. Someone is going to get angry. Someone is going to get sad okay so it's as cliche as it sounds it's really important if you know that you are looking for something serious if you know that in three four five years you want to be married if everything works out meaning that something could come up and you might not be together maybe you just don't have the same taste or you discover things you know along the way that you just can't agree and you're like okay let's go our separate ways so that's cool okay it's okay to work out at any point but let it be that you had the future in mind in the first place while getting to this relationship but if you just go in a relationship of let's just enjoy the moment the future is untold i don't i'm not this i'm not really looking for it if it happens it happens if it's if it doesn't happen i'm okay with it you shouldn't be in this kind of you shouldn't be in a relationship with this kind of person because obviously this person is not heading the same way you're heading and this could be an issue much later when you actually want something and the person is not willing to enter that phase with you okay so be in the same page with your partner or have that in mind have in mind that you won't compromise about this okay if you are not looking for something serious look for someone that's looking for something serious too so that way you guys are on the same page but if you know what you're looking for please stick to what you're looking for okay it's really important so that was point number three point number four point number four don't try to turn your love story into someone else's or don't turn to don't try to turn someone else's love story into yours you get the picture you know maybe you love um let's say you love um your pastor's love story okay he met his wife or his girlfriend or his fiance you know in church and oh my god that is so romantic it is romantic it's lovely that doesn't mean you all might must be that way okay you don't have to find your partner in church it would be very nice if you do if that's your thing but that does you could maybe you can never tell where you find your partner it could be in a friend's wedding it could be you know in an airport it could be anywhere so what i'm trying to say is create your own don't 
it's good to use theirs as a guideline but don't try to make yours be exactly like this a lot of people we look at instagram we look at facebook and we see a very lovely um couple videos and couple goals and it's true it's lovely and it's good to have that in mind you know this is something you are aiming for you're aiming to be in the kind of happy relationship that they are in but that doesn't mean you have to copy exactly as it is okay if you see them um swimming together you carry your partner okay let's go and swim together to no find out the things that it you that you two are into okay make your own love story okay follow their guideline but make your own make yours unique it doesn't have to be like someone else's because by the time you by the time you try to make it like someone else's you are putting this kind of high expectation for your partner okay and that might cause problem later so fall in love with your partner you guys should do you if your thing is more like taking a bus ride or taking a stroll or just watching movies or watching comedy videos anything that is you okay find yours don't try to copy theirs but use theirs as a guideline okay because you could watch the steps they took like what they did what they didn't do but that doesn't mean you have to do it exactly like them okay so that was point number four point number five this is ten right five you 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 care where i'm coming from okay so point number five Okay, and this is something that I learned from the book and I love it because it I it applies to what I believe okay if you're a Christian and you're in a Christian relationship and you're in a Christian serious relationship it's best to put God in the middle what I mean is find Christian related things you can do with your partner that can bring you guys together if it's praying together worshiping together going to church together joining departments joining um engaging in seminars together making god the center because when you make god the center of your relationship it blossoms it's if you end up doing other things too for example that means that um okay what i mean is when you make god the center of your relationship in each phase you move to god moves in with you or moves through that phase with you for example if you guys did all these activities together while you were in relationship like while you are dating when you when you guys are engaged and when you guys are married it's not difficult to do because this is something you built your foundation on so what i mean is start your foundation start the foundation of your relationship with god i can assure you it doesn't go south from there it always goes upwards and not downwards because I have seen a lot of people they, when when they were dating um, God wasn't of course they are Christians but they didn't really have a serious relationship with God personally or they or maybe they did have a personal relationship with God but together they didn't they never really did anything as a couple together with God for example they didn't worship with God together they didn't pray together they didn't go on seminars and christian active or career christian activities with god and then when they now got married they wanted to try this of course it's they can still do this and it will still work out but it becomes harder to start something you didn't start to do something you didn't start before but when you started at the beginning stage at the solid foundation while you guys are getting to know god you made god the center you're like oh okay i'm into this what are you into oh okay okay that's good i'm going for this christian program would you like to come with me we're having this let's do this together okay let's have that together let's when you try to do things together with god when you try to carry out christian activities with god in it it blossoms because it keeps growing and growing and there's never any going back from there actually you don't go downwards with god you only go forward so making god the center of your relationship is amazing actually so that was point number five